Dear students, Assalamu alaikum and very good morning. I hope you are fine. I am also fine. Dear students, watch this full video lesson, then you will be benefited. So let's go to our today's lesson. My dear students, this class is organized by Milestone School and College. And I'm Jair Rahman, teacher of Milestone School and College, Sector 14, Uttara. And today I will take your math class with class is 7. And today is your class revision class with lecture number 105. And already you have solved this one, which topic is algebraic fraction and chapter 6. That means 6.1 and 6.2. So at the end of this lecture, a student will be able to find factors of algebraic expression, find LCM of algebraic expressions, and reduce and make the fraction with common denominator and simplify algebraic fraction. So what is factors of algebraic expression? When an algebraic expression is a product of two or more expression, each of this latter expression is termed as a factor of expression. Suppose x square plus 2x minus 8 is equal to, we can write x minus 2 into x plus 4. So this one is a factor. These are the factor of this expression, right? So now how to find this one? So first we have to, we need to know how to find the factor of algebraic expression. Maybe you know, but check it, I will make you understand how to find this factor of the, uh, that one, I will make you understand. Okay, let's see. Factor addition. So suppose x square plus 2x minus 8, this one is the algebraic expression. So what do you do? That means how to find the factor, how to... So first, uh, we have to multiply the coefficient of x square. So the coefficient of x square is 1. And minus 8, this one is minus 8. That one we have to multiply. What will be? 1 minus 8 or minus 8. So this minus 8, we have to find the factor in a proper way. That means uh, we have to break up this middle term. This middle term is 2x. That means this 2x we have to break up in such way. Then when you multiply, then you will get this one. That means when you, uh, x square of coefficient is 1 and minus 8 we'll get this multiplication when you uh, this two factor whatever we'll get that one we have to multiply by we'll we'll get the multiplication that means minus eight and if we add then we'll get two x so let's see how to see so suppose minus eight we know the the minus eight these are the factors suppose one factor also two factor and four factor and write uh, 8 also factor of 8 minus 8. So suppose I have written minus 8, the factor of first uh, will take two factor that means 1 and minus 8. If you multiply, then you will get minus 8. So that means we have to break up this 2x in such way that means whatever we will get, that one when, when you multiply this two factor, we will get minus 8 and if we add, then you will get 2x. So these two factors is very important to find out. So suppose minus 8, the factor of minus 8, suppose if I check 1 and minus 8, so if you multiply, then you will get minus 8. It's correct. But if I add, what will you get? 1 plus minus 8, it will be minus 7. But we have 2x. So this one, this one not correct factor for this expression. So now I, if I check minus 1 and 8 is plus, what will be? Multiplication is minus 8, but now add this one, minus 1 plus 8, it will be 7. This one is also not correct factor of this expression. Okay, let's see another. So minus 8, we know the factor of minus 8 also minus 4 and 2 also. Minus 4 and 2. If you multiply minus 4 and 2, we will get minus 8. But if we add these two factor, what we will get? Minus 4 plus 2, it will be minus 2 but we have plus 2x, right? 
that is plus two. So we need plus two, not minus two. So if I check like this, suppose four, and if I check four and minus two, this one, this factor, multiplication is carried, that is minus eight. Four minus two are minus eight. But now add four plus minus, that means two, we get four uh, plus, that means this one is minus, plus minus plus minus, so four minus two, it will be two. So this one is the correct, because when you multiply by these factors, then we'll get minus eight, that means minus eight we are getting. And if we add four minus two, we get two. So here is also two. So these are the correct factors. So four X minus two X, we can check. So the right expression next. Now, now uh, how to solve this one? 4x is plus minus 2x, 4 minus 2x, it will be 2x. And 4 and 2, if you multiply, then you will get minus 8. Now, just make group two groups. So this one is the first group, this one is second group. Okay. So first, which one we can take common from this group? If I take x, then it will be x plus 4. And if I take here 2, then you will get, that means uh, if I take plus 4, but when you take common 2, that means uh, when you take common 2, that means x. Now, if you multiply, then you will get this one. So 2x plus 4. So now this x plus 4 and x plus 4 are same, right? So now we can check also the x plus 4. And x plus 4 here, x plus 4, if you take common, that means you are taking the x plus 4, then rest of the part is this one, x minus 2. Okay, so x minus 2. That means x plus 4, x plus 4 we have taken. So rest of the part is x minus 2. These are the correct factor of this expression. Okay, let's see another expression. 3x square plus 14x plus 8. And now, these along with x square, there is a coefficient that is 3. So just we have to multiply 3 and 8. What you, whatever you will get, that means 3, 8, 24. We get 24. By this 24, we have to find out the factor. That means when you get the factor of 24, there are many factors of 24, right? But you need, you have to find the correct factor. That means when you add this factor, that means two factor you have to find. So uh, it will be 14x. That means when you add, you will get 14x. And if you multiply this by this, this those factors, that it will be 24. Okay, let's see how to find this one. So 24, suppose uh, 24, uh, of 24, there are factor of also eight and three, because eight and three, if you multiply, then you will get 24. So, but these are the correct factor of 24. But if I add, we will get 11, but we need 14 X, right? That means 14, we need 14. So eight, three, if we, if we add, then you will get 11, but if you multiply, then you will get 24 but multiplication is correct, okay? In this way is correct, but when you add, you will get 11, but you need 14. So which one is a correct factor? Now we have to find Again, now we check four, six are also 24. But if I add four plus six, it will be 10, but we need 14 X. Now 24, 12, two are 24 is also correct multiplication. But if I add to 12 plus two, it will be 14. So now this one is the correct, right? Multiplication is also correct, addition is also correct. So these are the correct factor of this one. So now we have to add this one now. We have 3x square plus 12x plus 2x plus 8. Now make this group, first group and second group. So which one we can take common? So we can take common here, 3x, then we will get x plus 4, plus we will take 2, then it will be x plus 4, 4, 2 are 8, 10, 2x are 2x. So now x plus 4, we can take common and 3x, rest of the part is x, 3x plus 2. So these are the factor of this expression. Now, can you find the factor of any algebraic expression? Inshallah. Let's see now how to find the LCM. So rules of finding the LCM. At first, the LCM of numerical coefficient should be determined for finding the LCM. Then the highest power of factors should be found. Then their product will be the LCM of the given expression. 
Okay, let's see. Suppose uh, first first expression, I have written x minus two and into x minus two, and second expression is suppose I have written x minus two into x plus four into x plus two, and third expression I have written uh, x minus two into x plus four. So now, how to find the LCM? So already I have uh, written the uh, for for finding the LCM. That means the numerical coefficient should be find first right but is there any numerical coefficient no there is no numerical coefficient but here in other maths you can get like this so at that time you have to find the numerical coefficient but in this maths uh, if you want to find the lcm so how to find so here you have to find the highest power of factors so all our factor here this one two factor here three factor here two factor so highest power of factors should be found so x minus two this one is also x minus two, both are same. In second expression, x minus two only one times. In first expression, x minus two is two times, and in third expression, x minus two is one times. So, which one is the highest power? X minus two, right? Here is two times. So that's why we have to write the LCM. It will be this two times you have to take. Okay, no need to take this one. That means when you take two times of x minus two, already you have taken x minus two of second expression and third expression so lcm will be highest power this one right so highest power we have to write and also to uh, altogether you have to write uh, x plus 4 and x plus 2 because in first expression there is no x plus 4 second expression x plus 4 is only one time so we have to write one times one time and third expression x plus four one time so we have to write one time only because the highest power of both all expression only one time so we have to write one time and x plus two is also the second expression which one is one time so we have to write one time like this way you have to find the lcm and now today's lecture uh, we have to solve this extra creative question number seven so today's uh, creative question is a is equal to x minus 2 into x minus 3 b is equal to x square plus 2x minus 8 and c is equal to x square plus x minus 12 r3 expression so in this expression we have to find the uh, some creative question i have written that means the transform uh, dx x square minus y square by x plus y whole square into its lowest term b number question simplify 1 by a minus 1 by b and c number express 1 by a comma 1 by b comma 1 by c into the fraction with common denominator okay now solve a number express this in the lowest term so solution of a x square minus y square by x plus y whole square right this one we have to uh, find the lowest term so we know x square minus y square is equal to x plus y into x plus x minus y how to write this one and x plus y whole square you know x plus y whole square that means this one is two times right this one is two times so suppose like this if we uh, write like uh, suppose a is square a square means a square means a into a so the same way x plus y whole square into x plus y into x plus y right and x square minus y square you know that means a plus b into a minus b this is the factor formula of a square minus b square a plus b into a minus b so that's why we can write x is a and y is b just thing so a square minus b square plus b into a minus b and this one is this so we can hear x plus y in numerator part and x minus x plus y in denominator part are equal so we can cut this one okay then we will get one so rest of the part is x minus y by x plus y okay now i, I hope you, you understood this one Number B, simplify this one, uh, 1 by A minus 1 by B. Solution of B, so first we will write 1 by A minus 1 by B. So what is the value of A? That means 1 by A means A is equal to 
this one x minus 2 and x minus 3 this one you have to write here and 1 by b that means uh, 1 by b is equal to x square plus 2x minus 8 so we have to write this one and now this one also here given the factor but there is eligibility expression so first we have to find the factor of x square plus 2x minus 8 already you know how to find the factor so again we have to write this one minus 8 here so 4 to our 8 so if we add uh, 4 and 2 uh, that means you will get 2x right so if i take 1 minus 8 it will not correct so it's minus 7 and 4 minus 2 it will be 2 that means here is uh, 2 so that's why if you add then you will get this medial term and if you multiply then you will get this the third term okay so uh, now so how to the how to write this expression x square plus 4x minus 2x minus 8 that means 4 minus 2x is equal to 2x and 4 to r if you multiply then you will get minus 8 so now uh, you have to take common again so already you know you have solved so it just take this this one you will take the first group and this one is the second group right so just take common x so x comma x plus 4 when you take common x then means the rest of this part is x here that means this one when you take common x then you will get only the x and x already you have taken here right this x already you have taken so the rest of this part is 4 okay then minus and 2 have taken so rest of the part is x and 2 already have taken so so 4 to our 8 that means it will be plus 4 because here is minus we have taken common minus so minus will be plus that means minus minus plus okay so the rest of this part is this one okay now x 1 by x minus 2 into x minus 3 minus 1 by x plus 4 into x minus 2 now we have to find the lcm of this one right in the denominator part here they are lcm uh, we have to find the lcm so now what will be the LCM of this one? So LCM will be, you know already how to find the LCM. So because uh, X minus two, he, uh, here is uh, in first expression is one time. Uh, in second expression is also one time. So we have to write one time. And X minus three also one time. In first expression, but second expression, there is no X minus three. That means this factor so we have to write one time x plus 4 is also one time in second expression that's why you have to write one time so lcm will be this one after finding the lcm now we have to simplify this one now let's see how to solve this one so just take first lcm this one we have to take in this one lcm so after finding this expression we have to write the lcm so now how to find this one x plus 4 x plus 4 how to get this one so just uh, how to find the x plus 4 x minus 2 this one is lcm and how to find this x plus 4 and x minus 3 just just divide by the denominator of first fraction okay and of lcm so now just write lcm here uh, lcm x minus 2 this one i have written here this lcm we have written and divide by the first fraction of denominator that means this one by this one we have to divide x minus 2 and x minus 3 so divide this one so we will get x plus 4 so that one we have to write here x plus 4 and and this one so now you have to second fraction so uh, second fraction denominator x plus 4 and x minus 2 so here x plus 4 and x minus 2 and LCM is this one and divide by this one whatever you'll get that means x minus 3 you get so just right here is middle here is minus so you have to write minus and x minus 3 you have to write here now simplify this one so just remove this bracket what will get x plus 4 minus x minus minus max plus it will be plus 3 so x is minus this x is plus so one minus one it will be zero so x minus x it will be zero but four plus three it will be seven right so just write the next expression will be seven by the lcm so this is the simplification of b number i hope you understood you have understood this now c number 
a is equal to this, b is equal to this one already have written. So express 1 by a, 1 by b, 1 by c into the fraction with common denominator. So now solution of c number 1 by a, 1 by b already we have uh, written this one. So this one given. Now we have to find the factor of a and b that means denominator part. So in a here given the denominator of first part here given a is equal to x minus 2 and x minus 3. But in B number, that means in B, that means the which one is denominator second expression x square plus 2x minus 8. Now we have to find the uh, factor of this one. So you know how to find the factor. So 4, 2 are 8, that means minus 8, and 4 minus 2, it will be 2x, right? So now we have to take common, that means we have to make group this one and this one, another group. So just take common x okay in both one so you'll get the x plus four and if i take common two here x plus four so x plus four x plus four we will take common again so rest of the part is the x minus two right so this one is this factor that means x plus four into x minus two again we have to find the denominator of the third fraction is x square plus x minus 12 so what will be the factor now find this one the denominator of third fraction is x square plus x minus 12. So it's very easy just to uh, find the factor of 12. There are many factors, but suitable factor we have to take. That means when you add, then you will get x. And if you multiply, then you will get minus 12. So 3, 4 out of 12 is very easy, right? 3, 4 out of 12. And if 4 minus 3, it will be x. So it's very easy. 4 minus 3x, 4x minus 3x, we will get x. And 4 and 3, if you multiply, then you will get minus 12 that means my 3 is minus 4 is plus so now take again the, we'll make group this one and this one so that means uh, first take we will take common x and x plus 4 that means when you take common x that means the rest of this part is x and this one is 4 and minus we'll, uh, we'll take common 3 you, you can't take x here because there is a, there is no x along with 12 that's why you have to take the number take common number so this three you have to take that means there is three and there is also number so we, by three you can divide by 12 right divide by three of 12 so that's why uh, minus three you have to take common so it will be x plus four right so now so what will be the factor x plus four and x minus three so the uh, these are the factors so already you have find uh, found the factor of first second and third fraction denominator so now lcm will be three expression is x minus two x minus three and x plus four because all factor are one time here first second third so that's why lcm will be x minus two x minus three and x plus four so when you simplify this one you have to find the factor after finding the factor you have to find the lcm now what will you do uh, equal denominator we are we are um, so now let us express the fraction with the common denominator something equal denominator we are expressing so that's why you have to find the lcm so by this one so which one is the first fraction just right will first fraction is one by a and one by a is one by x minus two and x minus three so this one is the common all but common is this lcm so now by this lcm this lcm divide by the denominator part what will be what will you get okay now divide this one so divide up lcm divide up lcm by the denominator of first fraction what you'll get x plus 4 so by x plus 4 we have to multiply in both part that means numerator part and denominator part whatever we'll get that one is the equal denominator will get the equal denominator but because equal denominator when you find the first you have to find the lcm this one already we have got this lcm so now uh, x plus 4 we have multiplied by x plus 4 okay so x plus 4 x minus 2 x minus 3 and x plus 4 already we have multiplied right so this one is the first fraction so now second fraction same way that means divide uh, divide of lcm by the denominator of second fraction divide by uh, divide by lcm by the divide uh, uh, divide lcm that means of second third fraction uh, third fraction of denominator so now let's see how to solve second fraction is 1 by b is equal to 1 by uh, x minus 2 into x plus 4 
but here x minus 2 x minus 3 x plus 4 are the lcm so denominator by by denominator we have to divide so x plus 4 and x minus 2 what we will get x minus 3 so by x minus 3 you have to multiply in both in numerator and denominator part so x minus 3 this one x minus 2 into x minus 3 into x plus 4 now third fraction also same way 1 by x minus 3 and x plus 4 so again we have to write the lcm divide by the denominator part what we will get x minus 2 by this x minus 2 we have to multiply in numerator part and denominator part we will get this one so now these are the equal denominator of first second and third fraction so less this one is first fraction simplification and that means uh, first fraction second fraction and third fraction these are the common denominator that means equal denominator all are okay now i will are you ready to solve i will give you maths to solve this one i hope you can you can solve this one because already you have learned how to find the factor and how to simplify and how to find the lcm right so now you solve this one find the sum this one one by uh, a square plus a minus 12 and 1 by a square plus 2a minus 15. So first you have to find the LC, uh, factor of both expression, then find the LCM and then simplify this one. Then you'll get the summation. summation. Now SWCQ number 8. A, B and C. There is some expression here given and we have to solve this one. And send to this uh, CQ uh, to your subject teacher and if you have any problem ask uh, this about this question in zoom class uh, thank you very much for watching this video